next condition is if somebody has sinking sensation or out of anger, if somebody is angry and his heart sink or her heart sink uh, because you know in a home it's very common that relationship in relationship fights happen and heat level in the system goes high and anger means heat in the system that will enhance the pitta dosha in the system. So, in these situations if you are facing these situations and one of the person's heart got sink or he feels sinking sensation or fear or scared in these conditions do not give warm water to the person, give cold water to the person or lukewarm water, uh, lukewarm water but it is better to give cold water that is at room temperature because it will bring uh, the senses to the normal and pitta dosh to the normal that is why it is very common practice in India when somebody got angry everybody say bring water, bring water because their water has a cooling uh, tendency like whenever because this cool uh, cold water has a cooling tendency but not ice cold water normal water which is lower than the room temperature that water will immediately bring your anger down that's why you must uh, have heard many times this has became a common phrase like when somebody is angry cool down cool down means bring cold water and give it to him uh, let him settle down and give little bit water to him so that his anger will become immediately down because anger is nothing just aggravated pitta dosha or intensity. So, it is very very important in these situations do not give warm water to that person just to, just to detoxify him or her uh, try to give cold water that will work. The next condition is if somebody has nauseatic feeling like is if somebody has tendency to vomit and uh, he feeling vomiting then in that condition do not give warm water like sometimes we just feel nauseatic we just want to vomit but vomiting does not happen. So, if this is the situation is there in these conditions also never give warm water in these conditions also give cold water because cold water has a uh, has a tendency to bring this pitta dosha into balance and this symptom also happens because of aggravated pitta dosha or some other reason can be possible if there is no underlying infection and for no reasons you are feeling this kind of vomiting kind of uh, sensation in these conditions also do not give warm water give uh, water that is at room temperature or little lower than that ice cold water still not recommended even in this condition. If somebody is very prone to jaundice or uh, whose liver is very weak or for certain river uh, or for certain reasons like after alcohol too much alcohol somebody has taken and in the morning somebody has hangover or something. In these situations also do not give warm water just to detoxify alcohol because this idea is there most of the uh, because everywhere on internet uh, there are benefits of warm water. But in these conditions also do not give warm water give uh, cold water because cold water will work extremely well in these situations because it will balance the pitta dosha as alcohol enhances the pitta dosha and especially if the uh, person is of pitta body type it is very very important that you bring them uh, their anger their mood little bit to the normal by giving them cold water do not give warm water to them because it will make the situation worsen. Now, whom should get warm water? The people who have sinusitis, arthritis that is joint pain, sinusitis means learning nose all the time and uh, various kind of allergies are there. But it also depends in these conditions, uh, in these conditions it has been recommended to have warm water but still it varies from person to person. But there is no one universal rule to everyone. But yes there is one universe uh, but yes there is one thing which will work for everyone like in the morning if you are drinking one glass of warm water it will act as a natural detoxifier it is no doubt about it. But still like I mentioned it depends on situation like if there is outside extreme summer and you are giving warm water to someone definitely it will not satiate your thirst. In that condition you need to drink cold water because only that thing will give you proper satisfaction. So, if you are uh, outside is burning hot you are drinking coffee or heat how will you feel it will enhance heat in your system it will enhance more heat in your system. So, it is not healthy. So, it depends from person to person after exercise if you are drinking you do not drink cold water you drink warm water. 
So, uh, after food, if you are drinking, uh, you want to drink something, you feel thirsty, you drink warm water, don't, cold, don't go for cold water. And if you want to drink cold water, wait for 40 minutes and after that you can have a glass of lukewarm water. Also, there is one more thing which you can choose uh, when you are choosing uh, water for yourself. That is, uh, if water is boiled, it get easily digested in your stomach. That is, according to Ayurveda, it will take one and a half hour to just flush out from your system. If it is cold water, it will take around three hours, three to three thirty hours to flush out from your system. And if it is warm water and boiled water, it will just flush out from your system within forty minutes. So, boiled water is most easy to digest. Uh, when I am saying boiled water, I am not saying uh, boiling hot, I am saying boiled water which get cooled at room temperature, but, but it becomes soft after boiling and it becomes easy to digest. Uh, uh, extreme warm water like which uh, with the water that is at the temperature of uh, coffee or tea, that is recommended only in cases if you after food if you want to have uh, water or for two, three days if you want to detoxify yourself, you can have continuously this. But like I mentioned various conditions when not to drink warm water, these conditions should always keep in your mind. At the same temper at the same time if there is extreme cold weather outside, you can have lukewarm water or warm water. But in the but even it is very cold outside, still you need to keep in your mind all the conditions that I have mentioned so that you will not make a mistake because you are thinking just why drinking warm water you are making yourself healthy but actually it's working opposite to that so it's very very important like what is your body type uh, what are the situations you are staying and what is your digestive fire it makes a lot of impact when it comes to choosing water which water will be beneficial for you so that's all for today's video i hope you will like this video because i would like to uh, share this information for so long so that people don't create confusions in their mind and everything whether it is warm water or cold water everything has its place in the world it is not if something is good like warm water is good you, you exaggerate that and if cold water is good you exaggerate that it's not like that if we take everything in a proper way whether it's warm water cold water uh, and with sense then only it will yield benefits for us not just by saying like warm water is good okay i will decide i will drink warm water only this is foolish way of living you just drink whatever suitable for you what is sensible to drink and please check like uh, these conditions you are not suffering right so these conditions also you need to pay attention so that you will not land into big problem also if you're watching me for the first time there is a bell icon there is a, there is a uh, subscription button you can hit the bell icon and you can click the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos also if you would like to support us there is a join button near subscription button you can click this join button and you can support us and we will be extremely grateful to you so that's all for today and with this note i would like to say stay healthy stay blessed take care and if you have any questions please don't forget to write down your questions in the comment section i will try to answer your questions in the best possible way also if you would like to have ayurveda consultations please feel free to write down to us we will schedule consultation for you and if you have any suggestions for me your i most welcome your suggestions i will try to incorporate all the suggestions whatever you will suggest so that our videos will become more and more better and more and more people get benefited out of them so that's all for today thank you so much bye take care